Hello everyone, today we continue learning Python and today we'll work with array module in Python. So let's start. Array module is pre-installed so you don't need to install something with pip or do something crazy, just import array module like that. And imagine that you have very big list. So for example 1 to 3 multiplied by very big number. And what multiply with list does, if you don't know, it simply copies every value by x amount of times. So now let's run, as you can see, very big list. And what if you need to work with um, your data very quickly? And Python list by default is relatively slow. And Python is relatively slow to every other language actually. And what if you need to work with your data quickly and your data is one type only? So for example, only integers, only booleans, only strings, only, I don't know, only floats. What if your data is one type and you need to work with your data quickly? You can use array module. So by default, if you don't know, Python is getting translated to C language and C executes every command. And why we don't use C? Because Python is flexible and Python is new and works on every platform. But C cannot do it actually, but C cannot do every command Python can. Okay, but Python works only with C. So again, every command is getting translated to C programming language and C executes all of them. Okay. And what if we can use C arrays in Python? When you use uh, lists in Python, you use Python lists in Python, but with array module, we can use C arrays in Python. I remove all of that and let's go array equals to array dot array. So again, array is a module and array with parentheses, it's a class. And what you can do is you can remove that array and from array import array. That's it. So now uh, what we should provide here is not a uh, list, not any iteratable, we should provide type code. So what is type code? Let's go to array module here and oh, as you can see, type code, C type, minimum size and bytes. That table. I'll leave it in description and you can find it in documentation of array module. So type code, it's type code we should provide in our parentheses right here. C type, it's a type used in C programming language. So signed integer, unsigned integer, and minimum signs and bytes, it's how many bytes are used for that specific type of data. And as you can see here, we have signed integer with one uh, size of bytes and unsigned integer with one size of bytes. And we have signed and unsigned integer with four size of bytes and the type codes are different. Why we have those? So Python by default, if you know only, for example, JavaScript or with a high level language like Python, works with any integer. By C language, but C language, works only with different integers. For example, if you know, need an uh, integer from 0 to 1000, you can use signed integer with one size of in bytes. If you need integer from minus uh, 1 million to 1 million, you can use signed integer L with four size in bytes. And that's how um, C language stores these integers. So all of these integers with various size in bytes are only for uh, memory optimization. And that's it. As you can see, we have floating po point here with 4 and floating point here with 8. So these are float in uh, C and double in C. So double is actually a float with more numbers after comma. That's it. But now I want to use L. So signed integer with 4 size in bytes. And what I should do here is simply provide L here. Now let's print our array. And what I will see? Array from L. So I only see type code here. And we can call that type code, so type code right like that, and we will receive just L. If you know, need, for example, to create another array with simple type, uh, with Z type code, what you can do is array2 equals array from uh, array first type code. Now let's print array2, let's run, as you can see, array from L. Again, everything works fine. But what if I need to add a number into my array. What I can do is array dot append as I do it in lists. So everything again works fine. And actually array, um, that array has every command from list in Python. So we can reverse, so uh, array dot reverse. We can remove element from here, remove. We can pop element from here, so array dot pop. So every command from our list, but we have uh, additional commands for only for array in C. So now let's call array append, for example, 10. Let's print array. 
let's run. As you can see, array with type code L and we have 10 in here. But what if I'll add not 10 but 10.6? So again, 10.6 it's a float in Python. What will happen? We'll receive an error. Integer argument accept expected. Got float. So again, you only have one type of uh, data in your array. Okay, and that works actually fine. But now I want to show you why I used L type code here, not B. So I'll go B here. And let's add, for example, that number. So again, very big number, we append it to B. What will happen? Overflow error. Python int to latch to convert to C long. So again, as you can see here, signed integer, minimum size in bytes, so we cannot fit that number, big number, into one byte. And that's why we use L, but I'm not sure if L will fit that. Yeah, as you can see, Python int it in too large, is too large, because Python has um, I don't know how it's called in English properly, but it has some cool arithmetic, so you can add what, uh, how many zeros you want, so you can work with that number, you can work with that number, that number, that number, you can work with any number, because Python will uh, extend amount of bytes used for that number dynamically, but C cannot do it, and because of that we use different type codes here. I think you understand. Okay, now let's go L and let's append 10. And let's for i in range very big number i'll append that number into our array now let's go okay so now we have very big array here and what we can do with it so uh, let's remove print and what we can do um these functions are not available for list these are functions only for array what we can do is to string so to string simply translates your array into a string but it will not have um, something like 0, 1, 2, 3 in a string. It will have bytes, as you can see, like that. And why we use these bytes and why to string even exists? Because when we need to, for example, translate data, if you need to send your data to another server, you can use to string in your array to simply get all of these bytes, send them, and then translate them to array. Or you can use, for example, to list, to translate your uh, array into a Python list. If you, for example, uh, done working with array and you need to add, for example, I don't know, another type of data or you need to simply save your array into a list, you can use to list and it, uh, that comment will trans translate your array into a list. That's it. You have two bytes here. So two bytes simply translates your array into a bytes. As you can see here, it works um, like string, but I think yeah, it simply works like string, so I really don't see any differences between two string and two bytes. You can use both of them, actually. So, for example, array string equals to array dot to string. Now let's print our array string here, and now what I can do is create a new array. So array two equals array from l again. Then what I can do is array two dot from string. And the, I should provide here my string, so array string. Now let's print array2 here. Uh, and let's call not that, but 10 for example. So let's run. As you can see, very big string and array 0, 1, 2, 3, so everything works fine. What we did here, we simply created an array, added some numbers in it, then we created array string from array.toString. So these are string of every element of our array. And imagine that we sent the string to our client. We were server and send the string to our client. And then what our client needs to do is simply create another array and array.from string and our client has our array here. So yeah, that's simply to string translates array into string and from string from string to array. That's it. And actually you can do it with every comment we did here from bytes, from list, everything. But again, every element in your array should be the similar type to each other. That's actually all. Array is pretty fast and there are some moments when you should use it and it will be better for your program and for your optimization. Good luck.